Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Muggle, and we're playing in the kingdom now of Manitoba. We began as the Duchy of Langenberg, but due to the work of the incredible developers, we've been able to move through and do a lot of fun stuff here. So, um, as a reminder, this is a 5.0 early access update, Ashes to Embers. And of course, the model release for everybody, or the update for the model release on February 28th, 2024, but the worst of our losses. The revolt and subsequent loss of Winnipeg almost killed the kingdom, and were it not for our lord and king, it would have. Merely a few years ago, retaking Winnipeg seemed like a pipe dream, an idea only mad men would think possible. But now that time has fallen come where we cannot do this wrong, which will befall, which befell our great kingdom. Striking at the center. Bodan's rise rule is an interesting one. A local holy man becoming an entire knit country salvator. But as fascinating as this story may be, it has solely been built upon our ruin with the lands which the old believers now rule, having once been the breadbasket of the kingdom. And as like any other individual who turns back on the on Manitoba and raised his hands against it, his time has come. The raised banners for the reclamation of Winnipeg. Every able-bodied man and woman who will be needed for the reconquest of the Winnipeg, with letters having already been sent out to officers or mobilize and enlist as many people as possible for the war to come. Your time is now. King and country needs you. Lessons of the Rebellion. One empty assignable trade slot. Oh, that's kind of cool. Where no one goes anymore. The Wicked Forest. Ooh. Uh, the northern frontier has long been the most treacherous land across the kingdom. The horrors roam in the neighboring blighted woods, frequently wandering into our settlements to wreak havoc. It's time for us to take some responsibility and fight back against these abominations, and the process begins by laying the groundwork for battles to come. In the Wicked Forest. No one is quite sure as to the full extent of the depravity hit, hiding out in the blighted woods. Creatures made twisted and bloodthirsty by a blunt of unforgiving environments and perverted science. Only the bravest and most loyal among the knights volunteer for the campaign. Those that shall return home will be celebrated as heroes for the rest of their lives. Those who do not shall be remembered as such for as long as the banner of the kingdom flutters. Absolutely. More footmen, yes. Very good. Good footmen. Good, 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 good. Uh, we got this. We're going to start working on you guys. You guys. And recruiting an operative. Uh, William Bonnard. Very nice. And we're pretty much good to go, so... Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done it so fast. I didn't realize that these guys were allied. Well, then. Well, we better go fast. My bad. <laughs> well, this opens up an entire new front over here. Actually, are you our pu Oh, you're a puppet. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. Why did, I, why did I not realize that yet? Well, we'll see what we can do. It might have been a slight mistake, but that's alright. Go in. Like, go in hard. Hard and heavy. That's the way we like them. Hard and heavy. Uh, since you're here, you can have out here, too. Uh, since you're doing that, I will not here, too. You know, sacrifice it if you have to. It's fine. Open it up. Thank you. Beat the crap out of them, please. Thank you. Up them out there. My bad. Don't let them support it. Yeah. Uh. Probably want to help out, man. Good. Where no one goes anymore. Good for us, yes. Local workspaces, get more construction speed. We took Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Darn. Army XP is looking good. Naval XP is looking good. Special forces looking fantastic. Hey, and the old believers are goners. Go in there, force it. We gotta move faster than this. Oh god, dang it! Come on. Um, trade more stuff here. Yeah. Stability, yes. Exploit eastern marshes. We could send some guys out. Yes, that'd be ideal. And who else do we have here? Ooh, we also have a couple tier. Unfortunately, it's not Earl Grey tea, but it is what it is. Um. Yeah, I gotta go, with Armor Smith. I forge. That's what I do. 
Godurek was just one of the several veterans forced to step back from the battlefield following a debilitating injury incurred during the War of the First Republican Coalition. Following a lengthy period of soul searching, as well as some time as distance from the Duchy's social services program, he moved to harness his experience as a field aide to a secure position as Ducal Armorsmith. Godurek stands out from his peers, his experiences on the front lines having provided him with a first hand insight to address some of the most grievous oversights found in the designs of the soldier standard issue equipment. Way more reliability and whatnot. Now we're good, we don't need you there. Hey, Dave, me. There you go, once again. Ah, oh, good. Really beat the crap out of them. Then throw our divisions this way. Entire army this way. Should be able to get to there pretty quickly. I need you all to be very, very extremely aggressive. You, on the other hand, are what? Rooted, pain, train, survivalist, uh, left giver. Yeah, that's always good to do. Honestly, don't go there. Go here. The faster you can move, the better. Take the roads and move, 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 move. Good. That's what you deserve. Nothing. Very nice. Look at Forest. Uh, lessons of the Rebellion. Of the Grand Manitobian Restoration. As we begin rebuilding the Kingdom of Manitoba by clawing back much of our former territory, it will be crucial to ensure that we're working with sound foundations. By succeeding in the home front, in fact, we have, will pave the way for smoother and better resource campaign efforts. To this end, while many of our stored duchies continue to exist in name only, they present useful administrative demarcations for our city yet determined reconstruction effort. Fantastic. Oh, we, we won! That was really fast. That was way faster than, than I thought it would be. The border on this side is now gigantic. Not ideal, but that's alright. We'll get there. As to be expected. Uh, military sending bonuses we could. Clamp okay, clamp down on autonomy, too. That's a lot, but not very much. Just keep me in that manpower. It's not much, but it's better than nothing, you know. Missing any water? No, we got tons of water here. Yes, we did that one and avenge the Republican Wars. Our men are ready. From east to west, our armed forces are scrambling to carry out the last second preparations. At the same time, our commanders are running up and down the halls of our command centers. The twilight hours within sight, the line roars. Uh, Metis Congress, yeah. That'll be next. Oh, oh they're going to war with people too. Who are they going to war with? Oh, the rad people? You know what? The more people they take out, the more land we get almost for free. Not quite for free, but close to it. Good. Economic resurgence. What is that over here? Oh. Level 10. Two level 10 trade nodes. That's, that's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining at all. But, like, that's a ton of money. I love it. You know what? We don't have money for that right now, but that's fine. Whatever. Uh, I definitely need you over here. Center of Brotherhood. Boop, boop. Nice. So now we're out of a lot of portable radios. Pretty normal though. We need more military factories. We need more civvies, and we're doing well in civvies. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Four more units. Avenger Republican Wars. Uh, we need the Midas Congress on us too. Yes. Ooh, look at these own oh, Imperial regiments. Twenty combat width. Well, let's take a look. See. 20 with recon and anti-tank. Recon, anti-tank. Contact lost 20. Oh, they're literally the exact same thing. Before I forget, let's do this real quick. Send a rescue team. Mm. Or I can make them all Imperial banners. You know what? Screw it. We'll make them all Imperial banners. That makes more fun. More sense to, to me. There's no longer Langenbogen. Langenbogen and footmen. Do a little more. Here are more Imperial banners. Martial reinforcements. We're good. Riders. How much infantry armor do we have? Not much. So we're not going to really use those guys too much. Lo Royal Knights. Spec Ops. That's fine. Start doing this. Nice and thick the way we like them. There we go. Uh, ooh. 
Synthesizing medicine out of red fern. The red fern is mostly known around as a narcotic stimulant on crack, where while it gives you a high of a lifetime, it also usually has a lifetime as it ends there. Despite all the negative effects and high chance to cause heart failure, some of the researchers have found some positive effects of it. Apparently processed and combined with peppermint and a few other ingredients, it creates an incredibly efficient antiseptic mixture which can kill the strongest of infections. Only downside is that it usually knocks a person out for a few hours. But that's nothing. That's nothing. Nothing at all to worry about. <clears throat> the madness of manifest reeks. The further we push, the more resistance we encounter, the more blood we spill. We cannot, will not stop. We will uncover the source of the horrors of bladder lands and put a stop to it, no matter the cost. Do we kill them off yet? Let them kill them off first. That's fine. You know what I'd like? I wish we could like move all these decisions like around up on this decision, inventive decisions thing. I think it'd be a lot more fun. So I could move this to the very top because I like it at the very top. So. so we're still out of time. Do we have intermediate tech? No. It's kind of a sad thing then. Some chems. Now we're at manpower. Dang it. Do they win yet? Nope. That's alright. Give it some more time. The odds are battalions. More compliance force. Oh, what remains of the North? The Scarlet Blizzard, the Frost Lurks, the Delusional AIs. Some men will say that the clearing out and sticking a claim over this hellscape is little more than a fool's errand. Uh, some men will say it would be a best to look inward and be content with what we already have. Some men would rather go down in history as mere footnotes. And an army of the future. Though through the days of old, the Manitoban army and banners commanded both authority and respect with their prowess on the battlefield. In recent times, that of the royal army has been a subject of laughter, but with Langenburgian commanders at the forefront of it, we shall once again turn coal into diamonds. Good. Very, very good. How much do we have? 50? It's not a lot, really. Duchy of Brandon, huh? Duchy of Angas. Ooh, we might get another research slot if we really go down this route. I don't know. Where this all began. The bricks which were laid uh, were eventually led to a rise to the throne was laid generations ago by our ancestors that, as us, fought and died for Longenburg. If it is one duchy, one name that shall be remembered for the honor of turning the tides of the Manitoban decline, it is Longenburg, the duchy that never fell. The duchy of Dolphin. Oh, look at that. Having gained uh, full control of the... Greater Dolphin Coastline, it did not take long for civil servants to begin overhauling the kingdom's chronically underfunded naval program. Doing so would be key to restoring our military and economic influence over Lake Winnipegosis. Yeah. I can read. What is this? Well, there are well, these guys, so... They're probably going to... Hey, they see the territory! Following an ultimatum, Howling Wolf of the Iron Confederacy has seen wisdom and related message accepting our rule, uh, our territorial demands, at the very least. Uh, Confederacy soldiers have withdrawn from the border, and their own troops have rapidly moved to occupy the contested territories. While the situation remains tense on the border, from now war between our nations or countries has been averted. Excellent. Interesting. I don't believe that they would actually do that. Not gonna lie. It's good they learned. Can you, like, hurry up and win? Okay, you're taking way too long. You actually might lose here, so we're gonna just go up north then. You get the main part. You get the little incision part. Bop, bop, uh, bop, get a bop. There you go. And then you get it. Great job. Our fine mixtures are nice for us. Let's go with grenades. And a military command. Uh, I've got to go special forces. Your wish is my command. The Weyburn land is among the most storied and well respected throughout the kingdom. A family of battlefield legends composing the block of a uh, <clears throat> backbone of the Knights Order, a Manitoba's elite fighting force. That was until the aftermath of the War of the First Republican Coalition, where the soldiers' bloody sacrifice was rewarded the organization's dismemberment at the hands of the Brandon elites, threatened by Marshal Yorkton's successes. It was Yorkton himself who would go on to nurture the young Alexander, after his father, the head of the order, fell in the struggle. 
Now in the prime of his youth, and with a lifetime of regimented training behind him, Alexander stands as a sword of the North's loyal right hand. There's not a man in the, it, in he, would not be prepared to appoint his blade at if it meant restoring the family name and carrying out the will of he who made him the person he is today. Radio, anti-tank, support equipment. Yeah, we're missing a lot of things here. Which just means conquer more. We're running out of men from these guys. It all began. Expand the Yorktonian arms industry, yes. Under Yoran Yoan Yorkton, Yorkton became one of the North's leading luxury arms producers, producing some of the finest arms ever known to man. While the history of his weapons are for the nobility and the rich, with a bit of investment that could easily accommodate their lord and owner's desire for increasing their production, and starting to get a gear more towards quality weapons for the common soldier. Cool. Are we good to go? Almost, almost. Go, 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 go. Move it! Reopen the University of Langenberg. The University of Langenberg holds the legacy of being the first university that was open in the Kingdom of Manitoba, beating all its contemporaries with at least a decade. Uh, sadly, during the Republican Wars, it was closed as the students and the lectures were needed for the war effort. With things looking brighter for the future, Yorkton has already signed a decree that would reopen the university and let people once again chase new, technologically innovation, tec new technological innovations and the arts. Oh, look at this. Knightly prowess of the knight's honor restored. Oh, that's really cool. Infantry attack and defense. Royal Air Force. Intermediate air attack. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I'll do this and restore the knights to the former honor. Under the leadership of Gun II, the knights and their institutions have been effectively dismantled. Those at the helm viewing its high-ranking officials' undying loyalty to me as a threat to the regime. With the old guard out of the way, the order can finally thrive once more. Alexander's order proposed a number of reforms to restore the kingdom's most formidable fighting force to its former glory. Uh... And I fully intend to let him grab the reins of this one. We're going in now. No. Oh. oh, hello. Never mind. I'm not going in now. Well, at the very least, we're going to go right there then. Interesting. Oh, I wasn't even making... That could be, okay, interesting. Well, honestly, you'd be the bottom since we're not really using you right now, so... Oh, that's good. We get consumer goods back. That's good. Expand the armed forces. In your lifetime, the Langenbogen army had been commanded by a lot of the same individuals, with the rank usually being passed by seniority and the Lord having preferred to keep it uh, to a small elite corps of commanders. With the Lord having become the leader of the entire Manitobian uh, armed forces, the situation has changed, to say the least, with our army size increasing several times over, with a lot of the new troops being newly conscripted and badly trained in comparison to our own elite forces. As much as it breaks with tradition, we have to re revamp our entire way of selecting army leaders and start promoting young and promising officers to make up for new hierarchical gaps. Makes sense. Uh, stability? Oh, you know what? I'll take the stability. Absolutely, I'll take the stability. Simple circuitry is fine. Yes. Very good. Uh, the Royal Air Force. For the longest time, the Kingdom hasn't really had an Air Force. There's been an auxiliary corps that have fielded air platoons, but outside of that, the Kingdom has never really had an Air Force. With the evolution of war for the region seeing that fielding a professional army won't be enough anymore. We need to capitalize on every aspect of the battlefield to see ourselves unconquerable. Good. So return to Winnipeg. Uh, light ship cost goes down to rely on the Imperial City. Oh, yeah. Production cost is okay. If you don't need this, please go to head. But, rely on the Imperial City makes way more sense. The Royal Port of Dolphin has been the source of Manitoba's lake-faring prowess since the kingdom's inception. The city as a whole had decades to evolve into a well-oiled machine of naval production, each one of its assets and industries tying back to the well-being of the fleet in some way or another. Leveling of the settlement and surroundings will further enhance its graceful industrial dance bolstering our operational capabilities beyond our wildest expectations. Okay, now your frontline city or frontline soldiers, that's fine with us. Just don't lose. That would really suck, Eric. Ball the hang dogs. One more kid.
I know what you want here. Caps, expenses, infantry equipment, uh, resources. I like the less caps expenses. But we have York Eric in, so economy law. We already changed the economy. We might be able to go there though eventually. Consumer goods, but less resources market. But we already have a lot of resources anyways. Placeholder. Well, he doesn't have a name, so we're not gonna do that. Earl Grey? Life is a business. And anyone who tells you otherwise just isn't at the top. This seems more unique. Gavinger. Let's go with this guy. Well, let's read about him anyways. Steward, tactician, business magnate. The Earl Grey has done it all. The man stands out from the decadent minor nobles of Manitoba. Having had the foresight to invest in small inheritance and a thriving management consultancy, dealing with clients from across the private and public sphere. Whether it's whipping military camps back into shape or overseeing ambitious infrastructure projects, the Earl Grey has his finger in most pies and is always on the lookout for the next big score. But we're going to do a trade of Joel. But neighbors like these, who needs enemies? Joel founded the Northern Routes during the height of the kingdom's rule over Manitoba. The shrewd businessman recognizing the growing demand for a stopgap servicing merchants making their way coast to coast. The subsequent fracturing of the realm, combined with the wider regional destabilization, has since rendered the north a far less attractive destination for traders, leading to declining traffic and forcing the entrepreneur to drastically downscale the company's operations. Now kept afloat in large part thanks to the activities of the neighboring River League, most cannot deny that the hub's glory days are far behind it. Build, build, build. Uh, you're wasting a valuable time here by doing that. You go over here and you do this. I'm gonna do that too. Wow, you must be really bad. You met us, Congress. Holy cow. Now, nah, screw you, do that anyways. It's all out of temple, whatever. Good. The Royal Air Force. Uh, Royal Science Fair. Oh, maybe expand Lang Langenburg. Seeing as how our attention shifted to the south over the course of the reconstruction effort, the storied city of Langenburg is long overdue for some love. The latest round of investments aims to offer more employment opportunities across a wide range of sectors. With that, the rest should fall into place. Arms from Yorkton to every hand. A few first cases of the newly produced Yorkton Arms standard infantry rifle has already started arriving at the Lord's door. By the first most basic tests, there have been these rifles show uh, uh, rif test rifles show pinpoint accuracy and an uh, incredible amount of bullet velocity and fire rate for the soft recoil. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wait, what? Uh. God dang it, I guess we went in war with them eventually. Anyways, whatever. Stick you. Stick one of everything here. There you go. That's all you need to do. You guys are actually doing a very good job so far around here. Okay, never mind. You're all going down that way then. And they move really fast, don't they? Other town, Earl Grey. Yeah, I read him, so we'll use him. Come over here, huh? Albatross. There you go. Um, we're gonna take as much as we can here first.
Simple manipulation. Okay, we got him. Two under us, anyways. Well, let's shoot up bottom passes. The return of Winnipeg. Oh, the, wait, where did he get that one? The pearly gates have been blasted upon. We run south. After decades on the ropes, the heart of the kingdom is back in our hands. Our success has brought even a smile upon the Lord's mouth. Winnipeg is ours again, and forever to be again, such evermore. All right, then. Very nice. We're doing very well this campaign. I love it. The last of her lineage. Are you watching over me, Senpai or Sophie? The Royal Science Fair. An effort to promote technological innovation, but also show of the greatness of the realm. Several advisors have already come to us with the idea that we should host the science fairs in Longenburg, showing how the newest and finest of the realm's technological innovations. What remains of the North? The Scarlet Blizzard. Oh, I read this one last time, or earlier, maybe. You want to read this one? Please go ahead. What's this one? Return of Winnipeg. And the Republicans and the oligarchs. No one has ever made history by skirting around the toughest decisions. The fate of the old manifest facility. At the top of the Blight Woods lies the epicenter of it. An old manifest facility which has ever since its reactivation corrupted the region and created man-made horrors beyond our comprehension. Well, the first instinct was to shell the facility with artillery until it would be leveled with the ground concerns is also raised that we might have to check out it to ensure there's nothing in there that could cause problems if we did. For better for us, we'll have to enter the gates of hell. For better for us, of course. Very nice. Oh. Well, I guess we'll do this one next. The Pest in the Lake. Wake Lake Winnipegosis' eastern co coastline is home to all sorts of wretched of scum, ranging from garden variety raiders to its semi autonomous rump settlements, probably opted up by the old regime. Clearing out the old riffraff will make our waters safer while strengthening our position against regional rivals and a new golden age. The kingdom has been restored to its former glory, as boars once again encompassing the majority of the lands our forefathers fought and bled for, but climbing out of the darkness is only half the battle. The time has come to seize the rightful place under the golden rays of the bright future which lays before us. Oh, they're killing them. Oh, they're demanding territory from all over the place. On whose authority do they think they are operating with? Oh, hello. Well, okay. Revenge is the best. A dish is a dish. Best served cold. Yorkton sat upon the makeshift throne placed under the wooden stage, hastily assembled in the heart of the Winnipeg the previous night. At the opposite end of the town square stood the gallows, contrasting the king's display in all their old world glory in times of peace. They have been used to making an example of the settlement's most heinous criminals, but those days were long behind the kingdom. And said on that early morning, Winnipeg's cold breeze greeted those that dared turn their backs on the country men so long ago. The Republican, the oligarch, the man of God. All three stood on stage, surrounded by the city's most loyal soldiers, ready and eager to deliver the justice the traitors had long eluded. In the crowd stood all sorts of subjects, from the young hungering for history to be made, to the old taking in the cathartic display they had long daydreamed of, and yet, across the generations, a seething disdain and contempt was palpable, or palpable, um, rotten fruit and excrement slinging out from across the front rows. <clears throat> Yorkton wished he could join them, wished he could physically express his hatred for those who contributed to robbing him of his future. And yet he served a greater, grander purpose. His cheeks sinking into his fist, he waited patiently for the ex execution to finish listing out the innumerable crimes committed over the course of decades. Uh, the hooded man eventually glanced over to the king. Yorkton flicked his wrists, as did the executioner. The floor dropped from each underneath each of the traitors, their bodies wriggling and contorting for a few seconds as the nooses tightened around their necks, the deafening cheers of the crowds filling the town square. Seconds. All it took was seconds for the stain on Manitoba's legacy to be washed away forever. Now, it was time to look forward. History will forget your names. Well, that's the case. That's the next goal. Rapid redeployment, nice. And we're done with the land doctrine already, look at that. Oh, now they're forcing the defense. That's, well, not the worst thing they could do there. Good. Thank you very much.
State funded radio programming would be good to do too. Complicated circuitry, it's up a year at a time. Sure, why not? Volatile explosives. You know, I never do refined focus lasers, so we'll do that one too for now too, as well. Air legacy secured. Ooh. With Imperial control, we're still gain 50% core, redu core cost reduction to lands which were once part of the Kingdom of Manitoba, lands which you have previously conquered during the Manitoban offensive. Any land within this historical borders of the Kingdom of Manitoba that is owned by our puppets or allies will be annexed by us with the exception of the Arborg Junta. Darn it. Ah. As Yorkton passed from village to village across Longenburg, wow, see if you've been looking thick, he was met with, uh, all he was met with was with smiles of his subjects and the prosperity of his settlement. He had asked Alcander to join the Knights' latest patrol of the Duchy, a special biannual event simultaneously designed to gather info on the state of the region and showcase the army's upkeep to its people. By now a routine event to the residents of Longenburg, the King's presence on this occasion appeared to have drawn just about every sightseer out into the freezing cold of Manitoba. A thought struck Yorkton as he took it in the view. All the work that he had done since his takeover, all of the sweat he had poured into holding the kingdom together, he barely had to give the Duchy a thought. And why should he have? If the foundations had already been laid decades prior, so up his long reign, having brought on countless public works, technological revolutions, and new economic opportunities, all he had done, really, was simply ensuring that these systems continued to run as intended and were possible to export them to the wider kingdom. Well, this is what you wanted, right? Uh, right, Sophie? This is why you chose to hand, me, hand to me all that you had worked to build. He thought to himself, even in her last moments, she knew that Yorkton's limitless ambitions would represent the best vessel for her vision, and at least for now, history had proven her right. Her legacy was safe, but it would not be truly secure until the lights and hopes of Langenberg shone across the north and into the starry night of the sky above. And for that, more work would need to be done. All Yorkton could hope for was that she would continue to watch over him for what was to come. I can't let the men see me like this. That's very true. So there's that one. Uh, agriculture. Oh, Fort Capel Police. Required garrisons goes down, which is actually pretty nice, it seems like. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, return to law and order. <clears throat> With the restoration efforts winding down to a close, we can afford to scale the back on the size of our standing army. Uh, several soldiers will be re redeployed to settlements across the kingdom, large and small, to live out quiet lives, keeping their loved ones safe from everyday brigands and ruffians. Very good. The effects of this focus depends on your former decisions. Nice. Thirty more fighter planes, or thirty fighter planes in general. Oh. Look at that manpower now. Oh, that's so nice. You need explosives. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. oh I guess we have too much manpower, huh? This is pretty good to get. Ten for that. That's pretty, honestly, that's actually very good. More division organization, better winter attrition, better division infantry attack. The banners that brought Manitoba to their knees. Well, let's keep expanding this way, too. Duchy of Warwick. Lands which were once called the Duchy of Warwick has, after our triumphant campaign against the Metis Congress, once again fallen under the royal banner. Well, it's hard to see out now due to the destruction caused by the uprising and our liberation of the land. These lands used to be beautiful and lush with massive forests. We're back where in the Warwick family. Well, still alive, they would use their robots to cut down the finest of the trees and craft some of the most world's most exquisite wooden furniture. That would be the staple mark of any noble's manor or castle. Alas, their woodcarving techniques might be lost to time. At least some of the robots remain in fragments of their extensive knowledge about how to use them for their benefit. Oh, yeah. Frank Gordon. Come here, Frank. Come here, boy. Uh, stage left, and her destiny. Oh, no one could have prepared the crew for what they saw. Or should they, what they find in the old facility. Monstrous humans. Deformed beyond what should have been even possible for human anatomy. Ooh. Some alive, some long dead. A lot of them f fitting several of the descriptions of missing people from all around the Manitoba since the Republican Wars. Some in what 
we can only believe is the remains of four Capel uniforms and some of what was most likely Mountaineer uniforms. As men got further into the facility, even pieces of net armor could be found amongst the research vats and other outward, outer worldly horror of the facility. At the bottom of it all, there was one clean room, one pristine room, hosting the agent behind all this, Destiny. The moment the knights walked into the room, the machine started mocking them, telling them a story of what had happened to the people just like them which had come before them. Uh, before Destiny had time to react, several of the knights started smashing their hard, their hard drives to make her shut up. Just before the knights had gotten enough of them to silence the smug boys, it changed to earnest tone, going on about the importance of research and how it could change the world. While the orders were to raise the very place of the ground, there was still the opportunity to salvage one thing. If this is your research, the world will be better off without it. Take a memory card. Boost ability. Manifest hope. Bonus defense. Americanada. I want to take a thing. Now we definitely need more money. We only get 102 every month, that's not enough. Should be able to go to war soon, too, anyways. Nah, the sappers are done. Good. Safe haven, people killing each other all over the place. MacArthur destroyed the cons. Good. Oh, no, never mind. The cons are down here still. Poor, poor Baron's Irie. I have a feeling we'll have to go to war with all these guys, anyways, eventually. Uh, we could become Spymaster, too. Why not? Cool. Very cool. Uh, and we want Yorkton Arms, but we'll get there eventually. Cultural Advisor. The Golden Mind of Manitoba, Nightingale. Damage Garrison Skins. Ooh, the Grand Rector. Anti intellectualism sowed the seeds of societal collapse. Having just graduated as class valedictorian prior to the outbreak of the war of the First Republican Coalition, the Grand Rector was among the few young Manitoban men at the time to avoid the front lines. Instead, he was handpicked by the king to serve in the cabinet as a crown servant, climbing the ranks to eventually become chief scientific advisor. The fall of the regime did not impede his career progression. Men with the right combination of smarts and experience are hard to come by after all. Today, the Grand Rector leads the University of Langenberg with tact and discipline, his years as an administrator manifesting themselves in the form of higher student intake and test results. This is this one next? The Royal Science Fair. Yeah, in order to promote technological innovation, but also show the of uh, the greatness of the realm, several advisors have already come to us with the idea that we should host science fairs in Langenberg, showing off the newest and finest of this realm's technological innovations. Why not? Uh, yeah, return of law and order. The Jewel of the Old Empire. Unbeknownst to most people within the kingdom today, the original capital of the kingdom of Manitoba was not Brandon, but Winnipeg. Back when the King Gun I founded the kingdom, he founded it from Winnipeg and spread out from there, centralizing his administration and court there, where the remains of his old imperial palace still being possible to see even f after the Republicans tried to raise it to the ground. The reason it was moved to Brandon was that the Brandon line favored ruling from their own city, but with the Winnipeg's advantageous defensive position and the higher significance of the empire, it was time to rule once more from the heart of our nation. We'll have to rebuild and reshape it a bit first to accommodate it. The city of Winnipeg will begin the imperial capital modifier. While it does nothing now, should the city be returned to its former splendor, one can only speculate what great fortune that it could give. Ooh, Badland Buckaroos. Nice. The annual Royal Science Fair. Um, the Yorkton Groan is another batch of civil servants under the throne room carrying yet more stacks of submissions for entry into the first Royal Science Fair of Langenberg. Ever since the initial calls for entry uh, weeks prior, hordes of engineers, scientists, and let's be honest, garden variety inventors from across the remote made their pilgrimage to the Royal Palace in hopes of earning their spot in the showcase. This was on top of already uh, numerous official submissions made by the King's team of scientific advisors. What started out as a novel idea to bolster the Kingdom's technological reputation um, across the North that quickly spiraled out into an administrative nightmare that was distracting Yorkton from more urgent state affairs. Ooh, trip to the silo. Before the lead scientific advisor could make his way out of the throne room to bring in more submissions, the King <clears throat> was, uh, grabbed him by the shoulder and yanked him to the corner of the hall. I am beginning to suspect that a more clinical approach may be in order. The civil, senior civil servant let out an inner smile. What did you have in mind, my lord? Yorkton scratched his chin pensively. Let us begin by setting a clear theme for this year's showcase. It may help us carve out a niche for ourselves and probably save us the paperwork, the king thought to himself. The scientific advisor responded enthusiastically. That's a brilliant idea, my lord. No doubt it would catch the eye of specialists from across the region. The king nodded very well, then. Let them see our machines roar. Do we manage to reverse engineer those microchips? You're telling me about the latest excavation breakthroughs versus how did this season's harvest, season's harvest fare? 
machines roar, and we're destroying them. They're doing force defense, which is, you know, there's not much they can really do about it. Ooh, try player attackers, yay. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Whee! Well, not bad so far. We lost 1,000, we lost 66. Fantastic. Oh, trade gun from Mercs, yeah. Fine with me, whatever. Do we anything else here? Survivalist, Lucky River, yeah. Madre de Dios. Beautiful. Aliens. Very nice, very nice. Honestly, there's just one solid front line that makes it easy. The Minitoban Dam. Under the stewardship of the Brigands of the North, the Grand Rapids Dam has unsurprisingly fallen into disrepair. By overhauling this key asset, we can stand to generate plenty of new jobs, drawing eager and ambitious workers from across the kingdom and beyond. If we have the Arborg Junta as a subject, they too will get the Grand Rapids Dam national idea. Better consumer goods, 40 more electricity. Fantastic. Fan, fan, fantastic. Nice. Even more force defense. Love it. Just destroying, melting them almost. Beautiful. Another day of infamy, very cool. Oh, you know it's Eastern March now? That's cool. Got a recon, nice. Get there when we get there. Uh, instead of Absalom. The settlement of the former Duchy of Absalom is now in full swing. Already, some of our most ambitious pilgrims are adapting tried and tested farming techniques to those once scarce lands, laying the groundwork or foundations for fresh start in the kingdom's frontier. Oh, restoring Nathaniel's watchman. Hey, welcome aboard. Good brother Jean. Or Jan. Huh. Not bad. Nice more research speed, I like it. The last of the Imperial lands, huh? The bulk of the kingdom's former lands are home to red-blooded Manitobans once more, but can they leap soundly knowing traitors and enemies continue to hug their frontiers? I certainly cannot. Oh, we get... Oh, the nomads cores all the co states cored by the Iron Confederacy. The Iron Confederacy has been chased from east to west, or west to east, with every new place they have settled down turning into a battlefield. For once they've done the smart choice of settling in a land no one else already claims, yet it's on the border of a kingdom, and we can pretty much easily make their history repeat itself by barely lifting our hand. Just your giants. These effects will come into effect when our home has been completed. Ooh, sophisticated industry. The North End are named the ruins of the Imperial Palace. What's this? I just support. Okay. Oh, we get a research slot here. Fort Gary owned. Oak Bluff is renamed start of the Imperial University. Ooh. Got quite a bit of political power, too. This nation's awesome. Um, the jewel of our old empire, which I read before. What is this? my charter, take population. Well, the Academy of the Royal Science. Blood and iron alone are not enough to win wars, especially in times of wars like these. If we're to hold on to what we have fought for, man to us seize its place on the cutting edge of military innovation. And that process begins by giving our next generation of scholars a place to thrive in. 
restore the Imperial Palace, and then north end of Winnipeg. You can still find the ruins of the Grand Imperial Palace where it once stood. By now, the only stones of the lower levels are left, reminders of the Republicans left of what once was. But as we stand here, we are left, and they are all hanging for the treason and crimes against Manitoba they committed. The king has given us a blank check to spend however much funds needed to restore the palace to its former splendor, and to tear down any nearby properties needed, so let's get to work on them. Pioneer kits, yes. Yes. Good. Bigger, stronger, faster, mightier. Got a lot of roads to build. Tons of roads. Very nice. Bismarck will be a little more tough. Montana Brotherhood, Dramate. I'll keep him busy for a while. Um, you can go up to two there. We'll need at least five there. Go there, go there. Lightweight metal's nice. Good. Cultural Advisors. Um, I kind of want, honestly... This would be good, but look at Eleanor Yorkton. Uh, wars change, we should change with it. Brilliant determined and always looking towards the future. Eleanor is her father's daughter after all, and yet she possesses something the sword of the North does not, the ingenuity of youth. She studied the events of the War of the First Republican Coalition thoroughly, and from the cool-headed perspective that Manitoba's grieving and resentful veterans simply cannot muster. Eleanor ultimately concluded that the kingdom would be doomed to fall if it failed to both drastically overhaul its technological capabilities and develop more agile battlefield tactics. Gunn did not heed her warnings. Would her father see things differently? PP, please. And even though we don't always use it, it'll still be good to use. Good. We're still trying to get up there, too. So, one of these series will break. It's probably going to be this one. Oh, maybe it will. Maybe this one. Nice, huh? The colonies beyond the shield wall. During the golden years of the kingdom, several colonies were established to try and settle eastern Manitoba. Well, not all of them were successful, a few of them had traction. With the shield wall once again reclaimed, maybe it's finally time to finally look at what remains of the distant empire. The banners that brought Manitoba to their knees. Our new commanders have done an incredible job instilling the discipline into our new troops, with each and every one of them becoming worthy of the legacy that they are carrying on their shoulders. As the troops are now ready, they shall all be divided into special banner armies, with clear lines of command and succession. And for the sake of identification and morale, they shall be given their own banner insignias and a standard to carry into battle. Yes, please. There you go, look at that. Yeah, we definitely need that focus. Cobain struts. Yes. Yes. And we're going to start throwing some more over here, too, and here, and there. Oh, we got a nice. Dramate. Happy New Year 2280, yes.
Okay, just try it very nice. It's a little out of time. Come back over here. You do that one, that's fine. No, we're good. Um there you go. How about settlements? Yes. How much longer do we have to wait for these guys? No, not very long, do we? Better rock and choke here. The last scars of the Republican Wars, while admittedly some of the more minor affronts of the Republican War, the freaks of the West continue to hold on to some of their for our former lands. Individually, they are weak, yet it is their bond that makes them a truly terrifying thing, one that risks bogging us down in a never-ending bloody stalemate. Some apt diplomacy may assist us in resolving the matter quickly and painlessly. And for all I have learned. Uh, when a commander falls, it's the duty of his bannermen to replace him and continue in his place. Mourning can only be done after the battle. Uh, as one, this is the final wisdom of our lord. And good and bad days. Hell has befallen the east, there's no other way of saying it. In her absence, it seems the very earth has split open. Uh, and the east and directly open the gates of hell with it. Beyond our fortification settlements, lies raised in a land which not only monsters and robots fight. And lands which once connected to the west and east, uh, uh, Dante's uh, divine comedy is playing out itself for all to see. With monsters in the very shape of melted tin soldiers clashing with robots and eye circles as its characters. In this land, no hope or salvation can ever be found. Send as many men as needed to keep the walls safe. Very nice. Well, they're not forcing defense, that sucks. I kind of like it when they force defense. I want to cut these guys off completely. We need Stoon. Nebraskan Confederation, huh? Oh, wow. We're getting down pretty south. Through the Dakotas. Good. Run, Knights, run! Yeah, so we're gonna wait for this next one down here, too. Good. Oh, I forgot about all this stuff, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good. For all I've learned. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll send that one next. Let's do. Uh, if you wonder about this one, please go to head. No, if you wonder this one, the, with inspiration for Winnipeg, please go right ahead. The quality of the kingdom is what I really want to do, though. The kingdom's engineers and theorists have always preferred quality over everything else, under the idea of steel over blood. While almost none of them have real experience designing nor producing plans, they've already promised that if they can get a few racks and working plans, they should be able to retro-engineer them in mere weeks and adapt them to our wishes. The ones which fell first. The territories of the Metis Congress were among the first to break away from the kingdom. The rebels successfully driving their men back across the Assiniboine after a bloody insurgency built off the backs of careful planning and weapon stockpiling to many of our subjects. This marked the beginning of the realm's decline. Having recently reversed this historical debacle, those same subjects may be convinced that the worst is now behind us. Let us hope so. Gotta have quality. The future of Regina. The capital of the illegitimate menace government has fallen. Win winning the war was not quite the challenge I envisioned. Winning the peace here will be the true test of leadership. Nice. Canada, MacArthur's huge. Uh, who else do we go against? These guys, maybe? If I, I want them to continue killing each other. Crow Creek? Sure. The Duchy of Ang Angas, or Angers. The Raiders and Mercs have set up shop on the lake sh uh, shores, left behind all sorts of rickety half built vehicles, set clearly intended for cowardly hit and run tactics. Typical. Nothing cannot be repurposed for more noble uh, ends, however. 
and restore the royal port. Once a beating heart, the kingdom's naval prowess, the royal port of Dolphin and its surroundings had fallen to disrepair following the devastating attack on the city that took place at the tail end of the Republican War. A subsequent years of gun, the second's administrative incompetence did not help matters. We will need to get things back up and running again if we wish to restore our naval capabilities to any serious extent. Very good and very nice. Get in there. Ah, you know what? Screw everything else. You all hold. You're all here. Should expand that way. Go. You help. I'll hold. You help. Hold. Uh, you help. Hold. Okay, this way too. Let's keep them in place. Nice. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll next, why not? There you go. We got there and we left there. Platoon training is nice. Special forces kids low out of town, so we'll grab this one instead. Nitro circuitry is good. Extraction is still very good. Awesome. Um, appropriate, I guess. Yeah, let's see what these uh, American Indians say. And the integrity of the kingdom restored. We have gone beyond simply matching the splendor of the day's past, carving out buffer zones and securing our far-flung frontiers for our subjects looking to make a new start away from the bustling inner regions. The younger are being flooded with new opportunities, and the older can rest easy knowing their children's future is secured. Absolutely. Um, the fate of the Merck settlers. <clears throat> the Union owned all starting states of the Arbol Junto. The raiders of Mercs that had set up shop on the lake shores left behind all sorts of rickety... I read this earlier, yeah. Read that one. Read that one next. And then what? Duchy of Brandon. For all of Gunn, the second missteps and ailing gribes on their innate realm, Brandon's remained the kingdom's seat for power for years. As could be expected, the majority of the Manitoba's most impressive mines, constructions, and commercial activities reside here. They will lay the foundation for their reconstruction efforts. But, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll continue expanding the kingdom of Manitoba. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous rest of your day.